Hi everyone, on this channel I create videos packed with lots of great information. So if you like learning new things, subscribe to my channel and join the fun. I created this video specifically for my social psychology students. I wanted to give you a quick example of what I mean when I say that social psychology is everywhere and that we can use our knowledge of social psychology to solve real world problems. As you work on your application presentation later this semester, keep this video in mind. All right, I've been thinking a lot about hygiene following bathroom usage, and that's because I've noticed many instances in which men use the bathroom, but they leave without washing their hands. I assume some women are guilty of this as well. This got me thinking that we can use our knowledge of social psychology to help solve this problem. Failing to wash your hands is of course a problem, because it's unsanitary. People can spread bacteria and viruses and other nasty germs, and that can lead people to get sick. So obviously, failing to wash your hands is a problem. The way our society has been dealing with this problem is pretty straightforward, typically by posting signs. So here's a good example of a sign. Please wash your hands. Here's another one. Avoid contamination, wash your hands. I guess that sign provided a little more information. This sign is attempting to teach people how to wash their hands by providing a six-step procedure in addition to reminders to wash between your fingers and underneath your nails. This one also attempts to teach people how to wash their hands using some other graphics. Some signs are relatively forceful. Stop, wash your hands. So this sign provides a command. Here's another one regarding employees. Employees must wash hands before returning to work. I've always thought everyone should wash their hands before leaving the bathroom, not just employees. But I understand what the employer is trying to do there, and it makes sense. Here's where things get a little more interesting, because with this sign, things get more social. Please wash your hands before you touch mine. The idea is to get people thinking that if you don't wash your hands, you're not only affecting yourself, you're affecting other people as well. Because other people don't want to come into contact with you if you don't wash your hands. Well, this is a social psychology class, and when I think about social psychology, the first thing that comes to my mind is social pressure. So in this situation, I ask myself, how can I create a situation so that there's more social pressure prompting people to wash their hands? Think about a typical public restroom. When you design a public restroom, you need to decide where things are going to be placed. For example, you need to decide where to put toilets, urinals, a sink, maybe a cabinet for storing bathroom supplies. Obviously, you need to put some thought into it. And in addition to determining where to put fixtures, you also need to decide where the trash will go. A trash can is typically located right by the sink because after washing your hands, you're typically going to dry your hands with a paper towel and then you're going to take that used paper towel and toss it in the trash. Well, let's think about this from another perspective. If I need to determine where to put that trash can, it might be better to put that trash can outside of the restroom. And here's why. When the trash can is inside the restroom, and most people, of course, are outside of the restroom, you know, the general public, then when someone leaves the restroom, we have no idea if that person washed their hands or not. We just look at them and we wonder. But if the trash can is outside, when they leave the restroom and they encounter the rest of the public, we should see them throw something away in that trash can. They should have a used paper towel to get rid of. So, of course, along with that trash can, outside there are lots and lots of people. And my idea is to harness that social pressure, the threat of those other people, to encourage others to wash their hands and then go outside and essentially prove it to the rest of the world. Because if you leave that restroom without a used paper towel, then you'd be showing everyone how nasty you really are. And most people would rather avoid doing that. This is just one example of how social psychology is everywhere, even in places you wouldn't necessarily expect. And if we apply our knowledge of social psychology in creative ways, by harnessing social pressure and social influence, then we can solve lots of real-world problems. I'm sharing this video with you to provide an example of a simple idea that uses social psychology to solve some type of societal problem. What I want you to do is to develop social psychological solutions of your own. 
Of course, your presentation should go into more detail and provide more explanation, but I hope you've learned something from this simple example. If you have any questions, just let me know. And in the meantime, please wash your damn hands.